worst paid radio job. It was both the best and worst idea I ever had. I was working for a top 40 pop station in Medford. And it's as bad as it sounds. I got it uh, through a paid internship, and you know they, I was flattered. I'd done um, some public radio training, things like that before, but I really wanted to, to do something different. Um, you know, at the recommendation of my boss, he's like, you know, take a year, do something different, and then you can always come back. And I, I, the truth of it is, this was in the early 90s, and like Howard Stern was on the rise. I didn't want to like be Howard Stern. I just wanted to be like the guy behind the guy, but I knew you needed to get on air and you needed to have experience. So I changed my name to Jason Perry which was a wonderful hybrid of Jason Priestley and Luke Perry from 90210. And, um, and, and, this, and it was a top 40 station in a small market, but it was really, really popular, so we're kind of like these local celebrities. But here was the catch. I was still a full-time student going to school all day, and my shift was from midnight until 5 o'clock in the morning. And in the middle of the night, so who am I entertaining? I'm entertaining the people at the front, of you know, working the hotel desk job, uh, guys from 7-Eleven who are calling the top 40 station wanting to hear some Foghat. And I'm like, I'm sorry, I don't have that on our playlist, because what was on our playlist was what was representative of about 93, 94, and this was a really confusing time in music. Grunge was fading out, but we still had like Smashing Pumpkins on the list. And then Hootie and the Blowfish were like the biggest band in America. And the Backstreet Boys and Britney hadn't come along yet, but we had All For One. We had Color Me Bad. And my radio voice was like this, we're gonna sex you up. <laughs> and, the, and the dirty little secret about being on the air in the middle of the night is it, it got lonely. The station is empty, there's nobody else there to hang out with. And so I'm like reading my history uh, for school, reading my communications courses, all these different things, in between, th in three minute intervals. Because then I'm over here hitting another button. We were, we, you know, I had a assigned playlist, there was no creativity to it all at all. So I'm just sitting there going like, all right, this is Mariah Carey. Next up, Ozzy Osbourne. You know, and it was, it was really messed up. And the egos in the building were enormous. And part of my job was to get the, help get the morning crew, the morning show prep, which meant I needed to get stuff off of the satellite reel, the, the comedy stuff, that they would then put on air later and take credit for. It came from a, a national server. So I realized these guys, who I thought were so funny, were really just a couple of jackasses left over from the 1970s that really didn't know anything and I wasn't learning anything. So I asked the guy organizing my internship, I said, what can I do in the middle of the night you know, that, that would help you out? He goes, well, you can take old reel-to-reel -reel tape. I'm dating myself because it doesn't exist anymore. Reel-to-reel -reel tape, we like to, you know, when the tape gets old, we like to keep the reels. They come in handy for being able to, to use new. So cut the tape with a razor, like a box cutter. And then, you know, put that into the garbage and keep, keep the plastic real. So I'm sitting there playing songs. One night it's about 3 o'clock in the morning. And it's hack, real, hack, real, hack, miss, wrist. Blood is, I've, I've never seen my own bones before. It was awesome. And I can't find a first aid kit because, the, you know, I just, it, it, this is not a job you think, I'm going to need a first aid kit for my radio job. And I would love to hear an air check of my next on-air break after that with the sound of a guy who maybe thinks he has two minutes to live. And I broke a station rule. I played the 12-minute album version of I Would Do Anything For Love But I Won't Do That by Meatloaf. And I introduced it with style, saying, you know, it's the middle of the night. We don't get to do this very often, but I'm gonna give you the extended version of the biggest song in America, It's Meatloaf. And what I'm really doing, and, and I'm following with like November Rain by Guns N' Roses, which is like seven minutes. I just want to patch myself up. But it's, it's seeping through the paper towels and I realize I'm in trouble. And I need to call the guy who normally comes in at five. But the problem is he's always notoriously late. And I know this because I'm the guy that calls him every day at four o'clock. I'm the backup to his alarm clock. So I get his message machine, which he later played for me later. We had messages like this. Um, Dan, uh, it's a long story, but I slit my wrist. <laughs> And I really, really need you to come in now. All I'm trying to do is avoid calling my boss Charlie because Charlie is a dick. And so finally, though, I break down and I, and I get Charlie's pager, awesome, 90s, and he calls me back and I just said, I can't even explain this, but I need to go to the ER. I slipped my wrist, you need to come in. So he comes in, he sees me all bandaged up. It's like 3.30 or something. I, so I drive down the road to the, to the ER to go in there and the guy sits there, he goes like, how did you do this? And I'm explaining to him where, who I am and where I work. And I swear to God, he just deadpans it perfectly. He goes, 
it was the Color Me Bad songs, wasn't it? <laughs> and, and so they staple me together. And I'm thinking, I could go home, or I could go back to the station and finish my shift. And my, my father always told me to, you know, to be a good cog in the wheel. So I went back, and, and I finished the damn shift. And a month and a half later, when the paid part of my internship expired, they fired me. <laughs> but, Charlie sells cars. And Dan, who couldn't wake his ass up, the last time I saw him, I was visiting my folks in Medford. He was holding a sign for a mattress furniture store. And I, Top 40 KTMT Power 93, still have a job in radio. Thank you.